Isaac is a registrar. He hasn't even sat his part twos yet. I can't do my job without him constantly second guessing me. Can you imagine how that's affecting the rest of the team? Matt and Compass. What, you really expect me to stay here? Chris does. Your finish line is the same as the school orienteering course. It's just a little bit more of a hike to get there. I do not believe it. I do. And the sooner it's over with, the better I'll like it. How'd you get him changed? It's making look like tally tubbies, I don't think so. It's called polypropylene. You'll be grateful for it if the temperature drops. That'll be hypothermia, thanks. I assume you're being facetious. Even so, that's a ridiculous thing to say. Fortunately for us, I'm an experienced tramper. Even did some orienteering when I was a sea scout. Was quite good at it. Bet you were. Uh, all those in favour of hitching a ride to the nearest pub say aye. Aye. The likelihood of any car coming by is remote at best. Besides, according to this, if we go by a road, it's 25 kilometres. If we do the bush course, it's only eight. If we set off now, it'll take us two hours tops. You've got the compass. If you're not coming with me, hand it over. Russian blue kind of sounds like a fragrance, doesn't it? Not one that I'd buy in a hurry. And they're sure it's done the job? The poison's completely out of your system? Every last drop. Oh, if anything had happened to you, I didn't. But if it had... What? Nothing. No, you were going to say something. Just say it. It's just when I think about what might have happened if Penny had got what she wanted. It makes me realise how much you do mean to me and how awful it would have been if I never got to tell you that. <laughs> that sometimes I used to wonder if I would ever find the right guy. You know, someone I could really commit to and start a family with. And you know what? I think I have finally found him. I think you are that guy. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all heavy on you. No, it's okay. It's good. Anyway, enough of us sitting around mooching. I'll make us a cuppa. First marker. I knew we were on the right track. Kudos to the sea scout. Oh, now we're here, why don't you do the stamping? It's broken. Oh no. Stamping is an essential part of orienteering. Otherwise there's no proof you actually completed the course. That shows a very poor standard of maintenance. Write a letter to the council when you get home. More facetiousness, I assume. But I do intend to make a complaint, so that future orienteers don't suffer similar disappointment. Compass? You're actually enjoying this, aren't you? By my calculations, the next marker should be that way. <laughs> Hang on. Wouldn't it be quicker if we went that way? And it'd be close to the road, wouldn't it? Uh, it looks closer, but the topography suggests the terrain could be rather steep. Besides, if we go that way, it'll be cheating. Well, I won't tell if you won't. Anyway, who's to say the next marker won't be broken as well? Chris wants us here for a reason, Isaac. To work together. Exactly. So follow me. But, but You've had a go at leader. Now it's my turn. Come on. I really don't think this is the right thing to... Isaac. Isaac? You just fill that in and bring it back to me when you are done. Uh, just one more second, please. You're at a short street hospital. I'm putting you through now. Are you on your own down here? Yes. Where's that temp I was promised? The agency was supposed to send someone 20 minutes ago. Well, tell them to hurry up. And if it's going to be like this from now on, I want a permanent assistant. Y yes, funds have been allocated for that in the new budget. Callum just wants to make sure it's a completely necessary expense. Well, tell him it is. Utterly, completely, urgently necessary. How can I help? Shortly street hospital. Cool jacket. Oh, thanks. 
I've got one just like it on lay-by, which reminds me I better pay some more money off it. I've been a bit slack in that department. Mine's a little bit more cropped in at the waist, and it's got this gorgeous piping around the cuffs. Yours is really nice too, though. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but you look terrible. Like, really, really bad. I mean, I had camped to Belacta this one time I ate gross pizza when we were in holiday in Whangarei, and I honestly thought I was gonna die. But you look worse than I did. You should see a doctor right now. I'll be okay. I don't think so. Come with me. Excuse me, I'm really sorry to barge in like this. Normally, I think people who jump queue should be shot, or at least tasered, but this lady looks really, truly awful, doesn't she? No offence, but... Uh, Aaron, could you please assess this patient? Sure, come this way. Thanks so much. Oh, no worries. Hope you get well soon. You wouldn't happen to be the temp receptionist from the agency. No, I'm here to see my mum. She's a nurse. Ah, shame. <laughs> Cute waistcoat. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call the agency, but in the meantime, I'll stick around and give you a hand. Thanks, Gerald. What's your mum's name? Wendy Cooper. Ah, you must be Bella. It's me. She's on the surgical ward, level four. Thanks. Sorry again for pushing in, guys. Uh, by the way, yeah. that was a really nice thing you did for that lady. Oh, thanks. Sweating like a pig. That's hardly surprising considering the gradients of the train we've had to negotiate. I told you it looks steep. Yeah, you were right. Congratulations. Oh, can I see you were scrogging? Where's yours? I finished it. That's unfortunate. Well, can I? Absolutely not. That'd be such a sting. We need to ration what food and water we have in case of an emergency. Whoops. You might regret that, especially since the shortcut of yours is turning out to be anything but. We can't be far from the road now. Are you sure you read the map right? Of course I did. Well, as soon as we find the road, the sooner we can hit the pub. Right, I am off to get the groceries. Are you sure you don't want to come? No, I might be going out myself. Where? To see someone. What about? Just something. Don't worry about it. I am worried. Look, I know I said the wrong thing before, but... No, you didn't. Then why are you ignoring me? I'm not. Yeah, you are. You've been quiet and moody ever since I opened my big mouth. Look, I know it's only been a year since Shandy. I wasn't trying to pressure you or anything. Tracy, I... it's okay. Just leave it, will you? Okay. Sorry. I'll just go then. See you later.